Hello everyone. So today in this video we are going to see uh, how to create a security group in Intune. So for that uh, I'm lo I logged into the Intune admin center uh, by going to intune.microsoft.com and here if you click on the uh, groups icon and it will take you to the group uh, page. So here you can uh, select the new group. So if I click the new group or uh, you have to select the group type, it should be either security or it can be Microsoft 365 group. So the difference between uh, security and Microsoft 365 group is if you scroll over a little bit to the information icon, you will be find out about what these two groups are used for. Uh, for instance, the security groups will be used to group members access to applications, resource and assign licenses. And similarly, for if you take M365 groups, only users can be member of this uh, M365 groups. So for my scenario, I want to uh, add uh, all Windows 11 devices in one group. So for that, I'm going to, uh, since it is falls under the device uh, membership, then I'm going to select the security. And I'm going to give uh, my group name, which makes sense. So I'm going to give uh, the name as a Windows 11 and I'm going to add the group description as all Windows 11 devices. So here uh, I have option to ch choose the membership type. Either you can directly add the devices to this group or you can go for the uh, dynamic way of adding it. Uh, the, the reason why you can choose the dynamic way of adding the devices is, uh, for example, you create the group and the, there are hundreds of uh, devices was already part of that group. And if any new devices is created inside the environment, that device should be automatically populated in the your security group. So in order to do that, you have to go for the uh, dynamic way of creating the group. If you go for uh, uh, the static, the assigned way of doing this, then you have to manually add the devices every time when there is new device is created in the environment. So just to make it uh, simple, I'm going for a dynamic device. So once I select the dynamic device, now uh, I need to create a, a query uh, to, to, to match that rule so that the devices will get automatically added to this specific group. So I'm going to click on add dynamic query. Here I have an option uh, to choose the property. So what I'm going to do is here, uh, uh, my scenario is I want to have all the Windows 11 grouped in one group. So all my Windows 11 devices are starts with name Windows uh, Win 11. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a display name and in the operator, I'm going to use contains and then value, I know all my Windows 11 devices starts with Win 11. So now I have added. So now I, I provided a condition, uh, how uh, using this condition, uh, the devices should be grouped in my, uh, uh, the, the new security group. So now how I can validate this? Well, I have uh, created a uh, rule, but I need to validate this rule, whether it is uh, working or fine or not, before I go, go and create in my production environment. So here you have an option called validate rules. If you click on this validate rules, you, know, you will be having option to add device. And I'm going to select one of my uh, uh, device and uh, to validate whether my uh, rule syntax, whichever I have configured in my previous uh, uh, tab, which is working as expected. So now I'm getting a green, a green check mark, which says, uh, yes, that rule matches with my device. So I'm going to click device. Yeah, it is matches. So now uh, my uh, validation is also successful. Now I go back to the configuration uh, rules and, and everything seems to be okay. Now I'm going to click on save. And now my dynamic query is added uh, uh, under the dynamic device member. So now after I done that, I'm going to click on create and this will create my uh, security group. And uh, within a minute of time, uh, the group will be reflected in the console. So as expected, uh, we could see here my Windows 11 group is successfully created uh, in the Intune. And uh, if I go to the members uh, 
icon are able to see my devices here but still I don't see my devices so what could be possible so let me go back uh, uh, to my screen okay the dynamic group membership have not been updated due to system delays we are working to resolve this issue okay so uh, it seems like this device uh, the dynamic group membership uh, functionality currently is not available at this time it may be a, a issue from the microsoft side so let's wait uh, some time and once this uh, uh, issue is resolved from microsoft side we should be able to see our, our devices under the member section oh here we go we got the devices so i think everything is working as expected thank you